The birthplace of Country Music Museum in Bristol is currently featuring a special exhibit on luthiers or guitar makers. And on January 26th, two master luthiers, Jane and Wayne Henderson, will hold a special concert at the museum. And here with a preview is Charlene Baker. Thank you for being here, Charlotte. Thanks for having me as always, Chris. Oh, making a guitar as a special craft and a special amount of talent is needed. It really is. And, you know, Wayne Henderson is one of the most renowned, probably in the world. Right. I mean, people like Eric Clapton have waited for years for a guitar made by Wayne. Wow. And his daughter, Jane, it, it's a fun story. I think that she wanted him to build her a mandolin. I, I could be wrong about that one, but. You know, he told her she'd have to wait in line maybe five years, but he said, I'll tell you what, I'll teach you how I do it, and you can right. make your own. And so they're going to have a demonstration, and you know, the thing about Jane that's very interesting, she is doing some really innovative things with, um, uh, you know, so, sort of econo ecologically sustainable materials and right. things in her work. So she's going to bring some of the tools and materials and things that she is using to create her instruments to a demonstration and then Wayne is going to play some of her instruments in a little concert following and you could do a little Q&A. Um, you know, it's going to be a great event and for anyone who's interested in I think just Appalachian craft making right. or, you know, music in general, um, I think they'll enjoy this. And I'm really interested in it just because I feel like, um, you know, we have so many wonderful craftspeople and he's an amazing musician also. He has a, a music festival and all of these things. And we're just really glad he's in our little community and right. not somewhere else. So we like to show these people off whenever possible. And, you know, the Luthiers exhibit is still open. It'll be there till March 4th. Right. Lots of wonderful craftsmen, including Wayne, are right. featured in the exhibit. So this is some of the programming we have that's sort of a companion to that. And the event, the concert is free. It's right. a suggested donation of five dollars but um, definitely worth five dollars definitely worth five dollars but you know if you don't have that and you would just like to come and enjoy we welcome you with open arms and you're asking folks to RSVP because it is probably going to fill up pretty quick uh, we think so so it's always good to have that head count you know mm -hmm. if we got put out some extra chairs you can't you let us know right. you know <laughs> so go online to birthplaceofcountrymusic.org you can do your reservation online right there cost you nothing and then you know just bring your little print out let us know that you're there when you get there. And the Luthier exhibit that's going on right now, y'all you, have such special exhibits that come through, and this is just the next one in line because it is it is so special. I mean, I was looking at it online. There is a lot to be mm -hmm. to be to be looked at and, and to actually get involved with there. it. You know, and the thing about our exhibits, we do have a couple of th instruments you can actually get your hands on that are right. part of that. You know, things like cigar cigar box instruments, mm -hmm. and then there's a few displays where people have taken apart their work and one Kevin Four uh, is a good example of that he was like I didn't have any instruments that were finished right so he just laid out all of the things that it would take to finish this one instrument that he has on a big table and you can see all the little pieces parts you know sawdust and all in some of these and it's very fascinating and some of the tools that they have to use to right. mold and shape the acoustic instruments I don't know how it's possible you know to make anything sound right. to come out of, you know, it's just an amazing process. And, um, you know, every instrument sort of sounds different, especially acoustic instruments. And it takes a really skilled craft person to get the right sound out of that wood. And then, you know, people, these are instruments that they're, they're heirlooms. Right. You know, they're passed they're down. They're works of art. Yes, they, they really are. are. And yeah. some of them are more ornate than others. Right. However, you know, my dad has a couple of instruments in that exhibit. I'm very proud of that and very proud of him. Right. Um, but I see the he doesn't build them anymore. Right. And, you know, the very first one that he built from scratch, he built a kit, I think, the first time, is featured in that. One right. of his very good friends talked him out of it. 
and you know maybe I'll get it back one day in the family because he's not building. A treasure it just takes it's so a, much time. It's an heirloom time. for it your is. family, it really. Is. Yeah, and sure. I'm just proud that you know one of the person who owns the guitar now. He says yeah. the only thing I hate about it being in a case is that you can't hear how great it, it sounds. It sounds. Yeah. yeah. So Wayne will be we'll able demonstrate to demonstrate those sounds for his daughter's instruments, and that's really special. All right, Charlene, thank you so much for coming by and sharing all that with us. It is an evening with Jane Henderson and Wayne Henderson, January 26th. There is all the information you need to get involved in this very special evening.